to slow mo things in Unreal Engine 5. Well, you are in the right place because we are going to learn how to use that in very easy and effective way. Let's get started. To begin, let's open our third person blueprint here. We will set up a key input that will allow us to control the speed of time. Let's assign it the key one for simplicity. When the key is pressed, we will use the set global time dilation node to adjust the overall time speed. A value of 0 will pause time while a value of 1 represents normal speed. Let's set it up to 0.3 to slow things down. Pressing the key now slows down the time, while releasing it returns time to normal speed. Easy, right? Now, let's take it up a notch. We'll create a smoother transition by using a timeline. Delete the previous nodes and add a timeline node instead. Inside the timeline, create a flow track and name it time track. Set the timeline length to 0.5 second. Add two keyframes to the timeline, one at a time. 0 with the value of 1. Normal speed. And another at the time of 0 0.5 with value of 0 0.3. Slower speed. Set the keys to auto, ensuring a smooth transition between time speeds. Connect the timeline to set global time dilation so that it adjusts the time dilation based on values from the timeline. Now, when you press the key, time smoothly slow down. Release the key and time seamlessly returns to its normal speed. Want to add some auditory feedback? Easy. Just add a play sound to the node when the key is pressed and release. Choose a sound effect to accompany the time manipulation. With the sound effect in place, pressing the key not only slow down the time, but also plays a sound. Releasing the key returns to time to normal speed with normal sound effect. And there you have it. A simple yet powerful way to speed up and slow down time in Unreal Engine 5. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you in the next video.